Hey YouTube, uh, I happened to have, I went deer hunting this morning and saw a few does and yearlings. I ain't been seeing much in nice bucks this week, or for the last two weeks I've been seeing small bucks, spike horns, cow horns, stuff. But thought I had some great footage of me taking some quail with the uh, Gamo Whisper pellet gun, brake barrel pellet gun. And I get home, I had the the headband on and had the camera on the headband. Thought I'd have some good footage, but I had it. The camera turned. Every time I'd get down behind the scope to look, the camera was pointed down at the scope instead of the quail. So I had to uh, the, delete a lot of that footage off of there. But we did still come home and get some uh, cooking footage, cooking the quail and stuff. And, but anyhow, I just, man, I wish I'd have had the footage on there, but it just, I had the camera turned too far downwards, and it was just getting a picture of the scope and me pulling the trigger. But anyhow, I'm, I'll try to bring you a video for this week, and, but anyhow, we cooked them, and I talked a little bit about the, the air rifle and why I, why I like to use it. And I'm, a, sometime this week, maybe tomorrow or sometime this week, I'm going to try to get out here and, shoot it some more and explain a little bit more uh, about the pellet gun and, and why I like to use it a lot of times, squirrel hunting or, or quail or something like that. Take it with me this time of the year because all of the seasons open for pretty much everything here in South Carolina. Uh, quail, squirrel, rabbit, and anything you can name like that, the small game. But anyhow, bring your video. I, Wish I'd have got the rest of it, but sometime it just can't be helped. Hope you enjoy. YouTube, I see a cubby of quail up there. I happen to have the Gamma with me. Gamma Wildcat Whisperer 177. We can see if we can ease up there and pick us off one or two. I just put this scope on there not too long ago. I hope I got it kind of right. Well, we picked that one off. The other ones will just stay there. I don't know if y'all can see them or not. Got that one. Uh oh, now they're starting to scatter. Try not to spook them. Spook man, they seized in the ditch. I hit the third one. Try to ease up and see if we can ease up on them again. hit that one. Well, YouTube, uh, I found three of them. I know I had another one laying in that road. And I'm a, when I walked by, he must to uh, come back to his senses and got up and took off. Feathers and all there, but I know I hit another one besides them. But it just wasn't uh, hitting them good enough, I guess. They are, uh, 
I hadn't set that scope all the way in. That's a different scope on there besides the one that come on it. But uh, I'm going to try to um, get hit set in a little bit better. But I ain't had nothing to brace on, so I was trying to use the artillery hold on it and see how a hit would work. There's some good, good fat quail. But, um, yeah, we get home and mess with it some, and I'll tell you a little bit about the, the uh, Gammo uh, brake barrel on um, pellet rifles. Getting used to that artillery hole, that's one thing. Just wish I'd have had something of I could keep kept bracing on instead of having to hold it open handed and but you have to get used to it because you don't never know what kind of shot's gonna present itself. Anyhow the, the scopes that the the one that come on here it's a little four power scope that came came with the Wildcat Wisp. And probably after 10, 15 shots it already had started shooting all over the place. But that's one of the first things I would do if I got one of these rifles, I would buy an aerated uh, um, scope that's, that's rated for an air gun uh, break back. Because these things have the double recoil with that piston. There's a piston and then they have a double recoil. And two or, th or two or three hundred, four hundred dollar scope for a regular rifle, center fire rifle. It's not gonna hold up to it, I can tell you that now. So, but I just got this one on here, it's just a cheap scope, and I'm just using it for now. But I'll get into a lot more of that uh, tomorrow, maybe, if the weather's okay. But I thought I'd let you know a little bit about that. And this scope, I just got it on there for a short time. And if it breaks, it just breaks. But you, you go on to invest in a, a, a scope that's rated for break back air rifle to take that that double recoil because uh i got high recoil scopes in there on my um 300 mag i wouldn't put it on here because it wouldn't take it because they're not designed for the double recoil anyhow we got the quail out here i was went ahead and got them cleaned up and dressed out since we got some Got my flour here, got me some egg here, uh, this whipped up into some milk there for my batter. And we getting ready to fry up some quail here. Just hang on, we could bring you a, a cooking video too. The wifey's come out here now, she can get them down in that egg and stuff. I'm out here cooking quail and she's in there cooking chicken's feet. She won't eat a squirrel, but she'll eat chicken's feet. I says, I ain't eating no chicken's feet. Back when I was a kid, my mama sent me in the chicken pen to get the eggs. Every time I come out, I had to go to the water hose and wash in between my toes. Almost too big for your egg bowl. And when the wifey does something over, she got to make sure that she gets it right. Got to have egg and all that on there to make it crispy. I would just throw the flour on there and let it go. Cooking now. Hopping. Mm -hmm. I just leave my quail whole. I just bust them down the breast and I leave them whole and uh, where they just lay out and cook. And I can't hardly see with this little camera. And anyhow, 
It'll bring you up to date when we get it done. Yeah, it's gonna turn brown there on one side. But the two things I like about them brake bar bar air rifles, well three things really, they they got plenty of power, but they more quieter than shooting a 22 and way more quieter than shooting a shotgun. And if you only put one piece of lead in there, you ain't there for 15 minutes trying to pick feathers out where 10 or 15 shots hit that bird. You just got one pellet that goes through there. So if you take a squirrel, you just got that one pellet. So, and it saves on, you can get a, according to what type pellets you get, you can get good many pellets for not much money when you weight it. Uh, shells and uh, the shells ain't so bad, but rifle bullets, man, it's hard to even get any anymore. That, that's some good things about having them pellet rifle. That's why I got, I meant for years I was getting me one that I could take hunting with me this time of the year whenever squirrel season and quail season and all that opens up, rabbit season. The wifey couldn't take it no longer. She had to break into that quail. She loves quail. She's giving Nadine a bite over there. Yummy. Yum, yum. When she first got over here, I come home with some quail. And she asked me, what is that? I said, them quail. I said, them some tasty little birds. Good white meat. I said, remind me of chicken. But here she is with her chicken's feet over here on this plate. Won't eat squirrel, but eat chicken's feet. I just don't know. Just don't know about this, Nadine. I hope she ain't giving you chicken's feet. My goodness. There ain't no yummy. Yuck. See, Nadine don't even like it. That's right. You want some more of that quail. There, YouTube, we got us some French fries there done. We're not no French fries, American fries, because I cut up them potatoes myself. They come from Idaho, so them USA fries, not French fries. And we got our quail done here. But, uh, we could go ahead and have ourselves a meal and... I'm gonna send some of this up there to mom. And uh, she probably hadn't had no quail since I, back when I lived with her. But, uh, it's good and done. You got it good and white meat there. If you ask me what it tastes like, I say chicken. But everybody say everything tastes like chicken. But anyhow, that's our meal for. But hope you enjoyed, and we try to get out of. Um, video on the uh trying to set the uh rifle in better and getting everything set up and explain a little bit to, more to you about that gamo but anyhow we enjoyed our day enjoy spending the day with you thanks for watching